Well, Santi Tan, Satera Tai, an emerging, emerging markets economist with the Credit Suisse Group, joins me now from Singapore. Good to have you with us. How is Thailand going to raise rice prices but also maintain its competitiveness? I think actually right now the government is quite intent on in being prepared to actually losing some of the market shares or even being the top number one uh, global rice exporters actually. So I think the goal of the government now is to actually raise rice price higher to make sure that even though um, in a hope that even though quantity sold globally will fall that the re revenue will be still quite um, supported because of the higher price. So I think that's the direction that the government seems intent to do, um, given the recent policy developments. OK, that might work, I guess, for exports. What about domestic consumers? Is it going to hurt them? Yes, I think the um, government is trying to do a two-tier strategy where um, boosting export price, but at the same time subsidize the domestic price. Uh, there's, some being, there's limited information and details on that, how they're going to do that exactly yet. But I think that's the direction they are trying to pursue. It's not going to hurt taxpayers, though. I mean, how sustainable is that? Yeah, I think that's, that's the key point about this program is the sustainability over the long term. When you boost the price higher than the market price, what happens is that there will be incentive to grow more rice. Domestically, people will grow more rice, and they can do this pretty quickly. And it's not just domestic, because if you manage to increase the export price, the global price of rice, then you will end up having other countries, um, farmers, growing more rice as well. So in a, in a way, the scheme will become a subsidy, not just for Thai farmers, but subsidies for the global farmers. And then the question comes to the government will need to buy this extra produce of rice in order to make sure it doesn't enter the market or it will depress the price, defeating the purpose of the policy. And then you can imagine this become a vicious cycle when the government have to keep buying more and more rice in order to contain the price, make sure the price stay high and this become ever more um, expensive for the taxpayers. That's, that's going to be an issue, I imagine. Let's talk about perhaps for global, for the global markets and the global consumer, for somebody watching in another part mm. of the world. And as we know, a lot of countries, for a lot of countries, uh, rice really is a staple. What does the future look like to mm. them if we get into this vicious cycle of price rising? Mm. Yes, I think it's you know, very much tied in this sustainability question because I think although there's a near-term upward pressure in price. This is partly coming from expectation of people thinking that rice rice may go up in the future. So Thai you know, millers are hoarding rice. There have been anecdotal evidence in news that this is happening and it's driving the uh, rice price up. But you know, over the long term, looking in ahead into next year, USDA has already put out an estimate that um, the rice is actually going to be in surplus globally. And that's even before taking consideration that India now is actually re-entering the market as uh, one of our major exporters. Pakistan has reported that actually they're going to export more than expected. Philippines say that they may actually cut down the imports. So in a situation where you have uh, this rice surplus in the world, uh, barring you know, some weather shocks that might come in a way, uh, it's quite possible and it's quite easy for exporters to undercut each other's price and step in and take away market share from Thailand. So this increase in price that we see right now may not be so sustainable and definitely I think I'm struggling to see why you know, pr Thai rice price can go up as high as um, 800, 7 to 800 uh, US dollar per tons as many people predicted. All right, Santi Tan, Satara Thai, it's been good talking to you.